So what is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th crazy images tutorial, not really, your 11th electron tutorial in which we're going to continue our application for crazy images and uh, let's just see how we can bring life to this toolbar. So again, as I said, I'm going to make use of Angular JS in this application. So I guess it's time to import it now. So I'm going to go to code.angularjs.org and uh, let's just go right for uh, this one, Angular 2. This is the last release for Angular 1.6.4, I guess. Yep. And uh, we can just copy Angular JS from here and uh, pretty much say it right here script src and script src we're gonna need angular route as well so angular route and there we go so we have our angular ready and now let's just make some use of that in a script file so i'm gonna place my script at the bottom which would be script.js and again a new script.js file which would be ng app app let's just say and i'm not gonna go a lot deep into angular js for now if you are not even um, a little bit of comfortable with angular i suggest you take a look at the playlist i guess i would post the link in the description for angular js and you'll be up and running in no time so once we have done we can say our app is the angular dot module app and we're gonna make, make use of ng route and we can say that uh, for now app dot uh, config route provider uh, this guess function route provider and uh, here we're gonna say route provider dot uh, when it's on home page i want the template url to be uh, we do not have it yet but we can create a folder say components and then home Uh, right here, I can create a file um, home.html. Uh, we can say this is components home home.html, or otherwise, you could have done something like uh, dir name, and then this thing is one and the same thing. And for the controller, I'm gonna need um, let's just say home controller now let's just define this home controller home controller function scope and uh, let's just define this later first of all define our head controller right now what this head controller is is about creating this header so I'm gonna say this is ng controller is head control and now we can mess around a little here we can say ng click and i actually forgot what this was i think it was heavy multiplication so i'm gonna say close for this i'm just gonna copy this because i'm lazy and i'm gonna say i don't know if this was maximize maximize you can take a look 5d5 5d5 is uh, what is 5d5 minimize 5d5 is minimize that's right so we have these things ready and i can just say scope dot close is equal to function scope dot maximize maximize is also a function and scope dot minimize is also a function and we can just include window or let's just say it win 
so that we don't mess with original javascript remote dot get current window and again this is the same remote which we learned about in i guess some tutorial uh, we need to get remote first is uh, or require requi can't spell what the heck requiere electron and you can just make it constant i don't know people just make use of that but var is fine as well so we have our window now we can say window.close window.maximize or rather window is maximized just what, like we did earlier so window.unmaximize otherwise window.maximize right and then finally window.minimize that's it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the header part and let's just take a look if we have anything else to do here no looks fine for me now if we run this again okay we do not get a code looks like there's some problem with the scripting i don't know what it is the code looks fine but try to run it again yeah this time it works i don't know what happened the last time so anyways we can see that if i try to minimize it remote dot get current window is not a function well that is rude um obviously because uh, we do not want that but actually this so now if i try to minimize this it minimizes if i try to maximize this it maximizes and if i try to close it it closes sweet so that is all for this one and uh, we just completed our toolbar for the app and from the next tutorial i'm gonna start with the, the file upload system or rather just the file selection because we're not going to upload it anywhere so yeah more or less like accessing the file system so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one